this is Will Stewart from OnlineChessLessons.net, and I'm going to be looking at uh, kind of a classic game here. We got Rashid Nezmetdinov playing against the infamous Mikhail Tao with the black pieces. So this was a game in 1961, played in Baku, and um, Nezmetdinov, um, you know, probably not quite as renowned as uh, Mikhail Tao, but he was a extremely aggressive and tactical player so here opening up and, and we've got some kind of Sicilian and uh, with e6 Tal is playing just kind of like a, kind of like a hybrid Shevinigan it's very easy to transpose with this e6 move the reason you don't see it too much these days I, I think is because uh, I believe this is the carries attack with g4 here and this is uh, quite aggressive G4, you know, threatening media G5. Also, Bishop G2 is going to be possible. And um, the E6 move here is just, it's a little bit, it's, it's too passive for black. And, and that's why you don't see it so much in the 21st century. But, you know, it's like 50 years ago. So they're, they're getting all the theory and everything set up back then. So E6 uh, makes sense. And, and it's very flexible move as well. So Bishop E2 and so Knight BD7. So... This is uh, not a very exciting opening so far. And, and A6, you know, is, is pretty typical Shevinigan stuff. Probably a better move than Castles. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I'd be, I'd be trying to put some immediate pressure on Black. A after this, uh, this E6 move, I think G4 immediately. Or Bishop, Bishop to C4 is something I would prefer. But uh, Nezmet Dinov, you know, here he plays F4. And Queen C7... And now G4. So, okay, so he, he's starting to get, you know, it's starting to get a little bit more lively here. And you can see Tao's opening with black. I mean, this is the problem is, is black uh, is really not fighting for any type of initiative in the opening. He's more just, you know, kind of developing the pieces where, you know, they'd normally go. And, and it's not, um, I, I don't know, it's just not a very aggressive structure for black. A3 here, trying to maintain the knight on C3, you know, controlling the center here. And so now with bishop f3, white's got a pretty good setup, although knight c5 and, and now queen e2, you know, increasing some pressure. So, so black is, you know, he's, he's getting out of the opening here. He's, he's, he's getting some counterplay against white center. And so with e5, you know, while this does give up the d5 and f5 squares, black is making a play for the center, and, and he really needs to before it's too late. I mean, white maybe is thinking e5 coming up. Or, um, you know, G5 and, and maybe F5. Black's got to make a... He's got to make a stand and, and stop White from getting all the space in the center. But with G6... Hey, I, G6, I, I really didn't like the move. I, I did not like the move at all. Because this is just softening up all this stuff here. It's softening up the F file... And uh, after just takes, and knight h6 was a pretty nice move by Nesmet Dinov because, uh, you know, it's just uncomfortable. I mean, for black to go queenside with this pawn structure, that's uh, it's a little bit dicey. And now with the knight on h6, you know, you can't give up the dark squared bishop here. This bishop is going to be a beast. Not to mention the knight is really loose. So knight h6 was pretty nice. Very very instructive maneuver there. If you see somebody play g6, you know, these type of positions, I'd be thinking knight h6 is going to make it a little uncomfortable. But knight e6, okay. So bishop g2 putting a little pressure here. And um, the knight, um, you, you know, I mean, this is just not fun. This is, this is, black is not having fun anymore. I mean, uh, after bishop g7 here, I don't know. I mean, black has also got to reckon with g5, but I think Tal's plan, I'm guessing it was play maybe knight f4. Although I'm, I'm still not crazy about this. So he takes, and if white takes here, black will take on h6. I'm guessing, you know, Tal was hoping for something like that. Even knight takes here, and this seems to be pretty good for white. Anyway, this is, this is a moot point. I mean, in, in the game, Ziat uh, Nezmetdinov, <laughs> he sacked an exchange and played 95. 
So now the knight on h6, very uncomfortable for black. His king's kind of stuck in the middle. And the knight on d5, if takes, seems like white's going to be getting that uh, that exchange back. Maybe just, I don't know, let's say queen, queen, D, queen f2. It's hitting this guy. Um, it, it's just got a good, you know, white has a very strong attack on, on the f5. If queen d8, g5, going to pick up the bishop. And uh, let's just say, whatever bishop move, d6 opens this bishop up to pick up the rook. So, seems like the exchange stack was pretty good. So, uh, Tally tries queen d8, and maybe it looks like white can hold it together, but just queen f2. Just increase a little bit of pressure. And now knight f4 is how Tally's trying to defend here. Um, yeah, okay, I mean, it looks like it might work. E5, the moneymaker move here. So E5 is really exposing black's weakness, you know, to the extreme. And, and I guess if bishop g7 here, there's a couple of ideas for white. However this is going down, black is probably not sitting too pretty. E either way, I, I wouldn't want to be in black shoes here because white, white's just got, you know, how many tactics can be hanging in the air? I mean, knight f6 for one. I mean, let's just say a, a simple tactic. Maybe something like this. Um, or, you know, I mean, there's just a host. Instead, I, I guess, you know, probably that would have been the, maybe the best try. But even still, bishop g7, I mean, this is just, this is, this is going to be tough. I mean, let's say queen c5, threatening knight c7. Um, there, there's just so so many choices here. I mean, queen c5 maybe leads to, to rook c8. It, I, I just, you know, there there's a tactical shot here. White, white just has way too much pressure building up in the center, and his pieces are way too active. So in the game, Tao, I just try to take the pawn. He's trying to hold on for dear life, but I think he missed the following tactic with rook e1. F6, and um, this this is a very instructive tactical shot here. You know, the bishop on e5, if this can be allowed to sit there, black's going to be fine. You know, he's going to be up this exchange with, with some extra pawns for change. But instead, Nezmetinov just knight takes f6, and queen takes d4. And now... I don't really see how, I, I think black is totally busted. This is, uh, you know, even though he's up a rook for the moment, the bishop on the e5 is in the king. You know, it's king safety is number one, right? So if uh, if you try rook d8, seems like it's going to lose the queen to rook e8. And if king g7, rook e7, white's going to pick up that queen and maintain a, a mating attack. So Tally tried king f8, which is certainly logical to get out of there. And look at the pieces. I mean, look at all the pieces hanging here. So th this bishop here, you know, don't forget about b7. So rook takes, still threatening rook e8 check. So the queen can't really go anywhere. There, there's nowhere for it to go. Queen g7, just queen d6 is going to be mate. Um, queen anywhere else, uh, I mean, th there's just, there's nowhere to go with the queen. Queen h4, for example, I mean, queen d6 is just going to kill it. So he draws queen d8, and another nice tactical shot by Nezmetdinov here. He plays rook f5 check. And so now, the forced variation takes a couple of checks, king e6, and here Tal on. Because king d6, knight f7 check is going to pick up that queen on, on d8. So a really nice game by Nezmetinov. I mean, really showing what happens. You know, if you can just, uh, your opponent's playing kind of a, a passive opening, you know, not going, you know, pushing too hard for activity, then uh, you, you just got to break it down and don't be scared to sacrifice to go after his king before he has time to consolidate the position. So very instructive. A lot of nice tactical blows against, uh, you know, one of the masters of tactics himself, Mikhail Tao. So this is Will Stewart from OnlineChessLessons.net, and thanks for tuning in.